Hello everyone and welcome to Office 2013 Office 2013 uh, In this uh, Office uh, suite we will uh, talk about uh, Microsoft Word 2013 uh, Microsoft Excel 2013 uh, Microsoft PowerPoint 2013 and Microsoft Access 2013. These are the applications that we will cover. All of these applications are uh, inside uh, the Office 2013 suite that we will uh, download. I will show you at the very beginning uh, in today's lecture how to uh, access the download file, how to download the software. Uh, if you have older uh, version, which is Office 2010, that's fine. Uh, you can use Office 2010 to complete all of the labs that we will finish. Uh, however, I encourage you to use uh, Office 2013. Uh, especially that if you have Office 2010 and then uh, download and install Office 2013, uh, they will be separate. Uh, like if you look here, I did the same thing. If you look, I, if I click on start and then I go to all programs and then I, I, I look down here, uh, do you see I have Office, Microsoft Office, that's 2010, I have it, I had it from before and then I, I decided, okay, well, since we're having this lecture, I should go to Microsoft website and buy the new uh, Office. Uh, or uh, if you don't want to buy it, you can just download the free trial for one month and then uh, keep uh, renewing it uh, for $9 each month. So uh, one month for free, one more month for $9 and I think the semester will be over by that time. So uh, please everyone uh, make sure that you uh, take a look at Office 2013 and basically what we will cover in this suite, we will cover Microsoft Word 2013, we will cover uh, Microsoft Excel, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, and Microsoft uh, Access. Uh, also, we will uh, take a look at uh, Outlook uh, briefly and OneNote uh, if we have uh, time at the very end. So, uh, going back here, Microsoft uh, Office 2010, same thing, Access, Excel, uh, PowerPoint, Word. So that's what you see in the uh, package. All right. So uh, going going back here and uh, looking at what we really need to do to get uh, started. Now let's say you don't have Office. Uh, I am telling you from the very beginning. Please make sure that this is a big file. When you download Office 2013, you need to have a fast internet connection because you have a big file that you need to download. I believe it's almost like uh, around 700 meg, maybe. Uh, all right. So now, how do you download Office 2013? When you go to the Microsoft Office here, uh, the first page. It has some commercial and it says Office uh, 365, your complete Office uh, in the cloud. And it says here, try Office 365 Home Premium. So that's that's the first page when you open the Microsoft Office, uh, Microsoft website. If you go to www, let's do it again, www.microsoft.com. Uh, Once you go to www.microsoft.com, you will see here that you have a link that says try Office 365 uh, Home Premium. And once you go to this page here, it says uh, start your free month. Start your uh, free uh, month. Uh, once you click on start your free month, it will ask you to sign in with your uh, username and password. You will need to uh, sign in when, with your username and password. Okay, well, it says here, uh, uh, Office, do you know that you can renew uh, the package on monthly basis after you get the first month for free? You can just pay $7.99 and you won't be charged until the end of the uh, trial uh, version. That is wonderful so that's a good deal for seven just seven nine nine almost eight dollars uh, the first month for free and then the subsequent months you need to pay just uh, seven uh, ninety nine 
so let's go ahead I will go uh, ahead and sign in with my uh, Windows uh, Microsoft Office account and once I log in uh, it will ask me for the first month of your subscription is free but you uh, do need to provide payment information you can cancel at any time during this trial uh, period and you won't be uh, charged so going up here it is asking me for the uh, payment method All right and then after the payment method here once I put the uh, Visa card information, I click on uh, save, right? And once you do that, it will uh, take you to another screen that you uh, should be able to install the software on your computer. So let's do that one more time. So now let's say you open uh, your browser and then you go to uh, Office dot Microsoft so that takes you direct office.microsoft.com and once you go to office.microsoft.com it will take you to the office page right now you have something that's called office 365 home premium what is 365 home premium basically 365 it means that it is available 365 days 24 7 365 days a year so it is available all the time from anywhere from uh, all of your computers right and here it says up to five PCs a max for your entire household you can click on uh, uh, one month for free here if you click on try it it will open the application uh, it will open the website rather and then uh, let's see what you get uh, you get license for five PCs you get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Notepad, Outlook and you get Publisher and you get uh, Microsoft Access 2013 plus you get 20 gig of SkyDrive storage do you remember SkyDrive that we covered at the very beginning and you get 60 minutes of Skype calls per month you know you already used you have a SkyDrive Sky account you already installed the Skype and you did uh, use it uh, and it's always up to date so going down here if you click on start your free month it will do the same thing it will ask you for a Microsoft account username and password Microsoft uh, username and password okay well it was 799 a minute ago what happened so uh, you might get a good deal so uh, you have seen what happened the first time I opened it it was 799 or 7.99 seven dollars and 99 cents and now it's nine dollars and 99 cents uh, if you don't have a Microsoft account you need to click on uh, sign in with or uh, you need to create a new a new account here sign up now uh, if you don't have a Microsoft uh, Office account you, I already uh, told you how to create a Microsoft Office account at the very beginning so all of you should already uh, did that so going back here let's do that one more time again I will go to office dot Microsoft dot com Right, and then once you go to this page here if you scroll down it says office products so these are the products that you can buy you can buy office 365 home premium I just showed you how to get this one uh, you don't need actually the home and business uh, you might need the home and student uh, 2013 so if I click on this one
so this one here is more expensive because you get the entire software on your computer without having to pay on monthly basis so it's up to you how much do you want to pay you can use it for free first and then pay a small uh, portion or a small portion a month which is the uh, $9.99 uh, or you can get what you don't really need the professional you can get the office 365 university if I click on office 365 university uh, you will see the price here for four years you get the software on your computer for only $79.99 so but this one is for only two PCs or Macs so now you know uh, how to get uh, office uh, in here if you need to get a single application single application you don't really need to do that we need the entire suite so again this is one place that you can go to or you can click on home and student if you need to get the entire uh, software let's go back to uh, www.microsoft.com and try to look one more time at try office 365 home premium and see uh, how much is the price and now you know how to get free trial it is loading and now if I uh, click on start your free month now this is home premium 365 up to five computers you sign in with your username uh, oh look look how do you get the 799 so now you do it from the main Microsoft Office website to get a good deal to get a good deal all right everyone so uh, that's what we need for our course so please everyone make sure that you do uh, that so to get the better deal the good deal 7.99 you go to Microsoft website again I'm doing it again so you see exactly how to get the uh, better deal from Microsoft website try office 365 home premium and then you click on start your free month right and that will take you to the uh, page where you can put your uh, information once you do that you should be able to start the installation and once you install it it will take you step by step and you will have the software on your computer so that is basically how to get office 2013 once you install office 2013 if you click on start and then click on all programs if you are using the older windows windows 7 if you are using uh, Windows 8 if you are using Windows 8 you will see uh, a group for Office 2013 and you will have all of the apps uh, each app in a tile uh, by itself so that's a place on the uh, metro view of your start screen of your Windows 8 you will see uh, an icon or an, uh, a tile uh, actually it is a tile they call it a tile now so you will see a tile for each application you can press on it or you can uh, go back to the old desktop and open it the old way or you can search for it uh, do you remember the window key and F and then type Word Excel and PowerPoint if you are using older Windows uh, Windows like Windows 7 for example if you type Word and then you will get Microsoft Word here uh, if you have two versions look at this beautiful interface very nice very nice I really I really like the new uh, office uh, 2013 it's almost like 2010 but it's for some reason it's a lot faster it's a lot faster and uh, one big thing that I really like that you can edit a PDF file immediately you can uh, uh, open an e a PDF file and look at it and edit it step by step so if I close back here going back to the uh, Microsoft website this is the first step first step that you need to do to get started with uh, uh, the remaining of the semester so we need to uh, download Office 2000 Microsoft Office 2013 uh, thank you everyone and I will see you in future tutorials bye bye